Well, thank you everybody <coughs> for being here. Thank you to Puerto for inviting me. Thank you to the embassy for having us here today. Um, well, I was already introduced quite well. Transfer is a uh, consultancy firm focusing on helping European companies in becoming active in Latin America and Latin American companies helping them to get a foothold in Europe. So we work in both directions. Well, my function at the company is I've been responsible for our projects in Colombia. So from the Netherlands to Colombia, but also from Colombia to the Netherlands. Um, I will be telling you something about the most promising sectors today. I will do that from a Dutch perspective, since I'm Dutch. But I will try to, to, to look at the sectors from both ways. So also from a Colombian perspective. Um, well, first of all, I would like to do a little, well, I, I had a, prepared a little quiz, but I can imagine that you do, are not able to read the questions. Yeah, you are? Yes. Also the answers, or? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, they're coming slowly. Well, it was, was prepared to, I know you're all very uh, well informed about Colombia, just to refresh in your knowledge, but also because I will be giving you the answers during my presentation. So, also to make it a little bit more interactive. Well, this was the first question. Uh, since the answers took a little while, I think you already read the, uh, read the question and also the answer. So, please think of the answer you think is correct. Well, the second question is going to go a lot faster. Uh, there are three, I mentioned three companies uh, out of Colombia's fresh uh, flower industry, so the question is, are these Dutch companies or are they entirely Colombian? Mm -hmm. Third question, these are all about sectors that we will discuss later on. Uh, medical sector, the question is, how many clinics, hospitals uh, out of the Latin American top 20 are based in Colombia? Mm -hmm. Last question, uh, when I was this is the question about uh, seeing from Colombia to the Netherlands uh, what place has the Netherlands as an export destination for Colombia? Well, I already told you something about transfer and I'm going on because I've got a lot to tell you. Jan already mentioned that I have the nicer role because it's easier to speak about a specific subject. There's also the chance that you have so, ma so much to tell about a specific subject that you will need your 20 minutes as well. Well, these are some of the clients we, we supported in the last 16 years, just to give you an idea. Companies from the Netherlands, but also companies from the rest of Europe, companies from Latin America, just to give you an idea. What I would like to discuss with you today, uh, first of all, uh, since Jan didn't get to the bilateral trade or he introduced the subject but didn't uh, tell you everything about it, I'm going to tell you something more. Um, then. Um, the, well, the export from the Netherlands to Colombia is much smaller than the other way around. Uh, the export from the Netherlands to Colombia is more diverse. But what I'm willing to do today is show you that during my trips all over the world, I've seen a lot of Colombian companies that are not from the traditional sectors that are doing well abroad. Just to, to, to well, adjust your perspective a little bit. Then afterwards, the eight sectors that I think we should speak about today. First, about the trade between the Netherlands and Colombia. Um, well, Jan already told us that um, Colombia is relatively, it's, it's not a new country for, for the Netherlands, not based, not seeing import, leader, export. But it is a country that has seen a very huge growth uh, in bilateral trade relations in the last few years. So, bilateral trade trade multiplied with a factor of six in only eight years. I studied the, the, the statistics of Brazil this afternoon and I can tell you that the growth in the relationship Netherlands-Colombia is much bigger than Brazil-Netherlands. Um, well, there's also the answer on, the, on one of the questions in the quiz. Um, on the way over here, I thought I had used these questions before, so then I thought of the thing that the question was based on the on the statistics from 2010. It could well be that the Netherlands is the first export destination for, for, for Colombia at this moment. Um, 
given the fact that Venezuela in the past year that the export to Venezuela has decreased um, well, considerably. So I guess the Netherlands will be the first de export destination uh, at this moment mm -hmm. after the United States and China. Um, well, what I also, what Jan also mentioned is that uh, the relationship between the Netherlands and Colombia is, is modifying almost every day. From forgotten in the past, and maybe not forgotten, but not on the priority list, Colombia has, Colombia has become very important for the Netherlands. But ne the Netherlands also have become very important for Colombia. And you can also see this changed view in the speech of our ambassadors, but also the whole view of our governments. So when, uh, when State of Secretary of Finance, and Mr. Vegas visited Colombia recently, uh, he delivered a very inspiring speech, and he was also quite clear about, a certain, about his message. And the message was more or less the following, that we are befriended nations, we are excellent trade partners, the trade between our two countries is increasing rapidly, but there are also new horizons, new horizons to be explored together. Um, well, these changes, um, there are several changes that we have to keep in mind. There's an FTE, uh, free trade agreement coming between Colombia, Peru and the European Union. In the, in the, in the future there will be a double tracks treaty probably, uh, from which one of my the next speakers will tell you more. Um, Colombia has been named as a transition country in the Netherlands. The Dutch government has said, well, Colombia, Vietnam and South Africa, those are the transition countries for us. Well, the same term was applied to, for example, China in the past. Then the term didn't mean exactly the same, but the idea is that um, the Dutch government will go from aid to trade in only a few years. So the Dutch government is investing a considerable amount of money in improving relationship with Colombia, in improving um, the trade relationship in the next few years. Um, but also a fact that I already mentioned is that I think, personally, based on the companies we have been supporting from Colombia, maybe this is also the experience of CBI, uh, one of the next speakers also, that Colombia's uh, economy is developing, but its exports is also diversifying. And that's what I want to show you on the next sheet. Well, um, you can probably imagine what all these companies have in common. They are Colombian. Um, but uh, when I was sitting there, I heard several people speaking about the fact that Colombia is still very much dependent on, on coal, on oil, on, on gas, on bananas, flowers, um, coffee. And that's true. Of course, that's still true. But I think there, there are other products coming from Colombia that, um, that are worth mentioning. In the total statistics, they don't have a big role yet, but I, I expect them to, to have in the future. So, uh, some examples. You see the chairs on the right. Uh, there's a picture that I personally took at uh, uh, Emirates Stadium of uh, Arsenal Football Club in, in London. And the luxurious chairs you see, they were made in Colombia. Um, other examples are, for example, buses, small aircrafts that come from Colombia and are being exported to a wide variety of countries. Um, also worth mentioning, uh, Celomania, um, its applications for mobile, mobile applications are being used in, very, in many countries, or in, or in your static uh, company, you, maybe you know the company, it's a company that produces artificial teeth and they, they nowadays are one of the world, world market leaders in their products. Um, another tendency that we see is that, um, that in, the, in the past Colombian exported, they, they mainly produced for international clients. So a lot of private label. That's still the case. But we also see that some companies have stepped up and they are producing and branding their own products. So they sell their products really as a brand. And that's for example, that's, that's for example the case for Cyclus and Pat Primo. They are both active in the fashion, fashion industry. 